Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not. And the FAIR Act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. First, I want to say happy Thursday. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Please stay safe and all that good stuff. Please stay aware of your surroundings. And please, y'all, watch the company that you keep because it just may save your life or keep you out of trouble. Okay, y'all? So, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. So, I'm just not... I am. My apologies, y'all. I have so much going on, it don't make sense. So, this is why I am sitting down to my desk this late. Um, I'm... I got a lot of stuff going on. Okay, y'all. Um, y'all, somebody brought something to my attention. And I had to check it out. I, I really did. And y'all, I did a little digging after I checked this out. And I was like, this don't make no sense. To be honest with y'all, the industry has been trying to, to snitch on Puffy. They've been snitching on Puffy without snitching. And I'm about to show y'all what I'm talking about because this is ridiculous. Now, I don't know. Have you all seen this movie called Blink Twice? Um, Channing, Channing Tatum and um, Zoe, Zoe Kravitz, Lenny Kravitz's daughter, they wrote the movie and produced it or whatever. It's a really good movie, y'all. It is a really good movie. And it's a wake-up call to people that's following people out of town because they're rich and this and that and that and this. That you have to be careful of what you're doing. Um, I think that this movie, in my personal opinion, they put this movie out to put Puffy on blast about the things that he was doing. Now, we just heard stories about Puffy taking, you know, women to UK, taking their, um, you know, their paperwork so they could leave the country and this and that and that and this. And um, leaving them over there. Okay, y'all? Um, this reminds me, this movie, if y'all haven't seen it, please go check it out. It is called Blink Twice. And you're not going to regret, regret watching this because it is a wake up call on every level. Now let's go over just a few things. Okay. That reminds me of P. Diddy on, on so many levels. This movie is reminding me of this, uh, monster right here. Channing Tatum, um, played... Basically, Diddy in this movie. Um, this is the movie right here. And it just came out this year. And I don't know why everybody ain't talking about this. I don't know why I didn't see, you know, um, advertising of this movie or nothing like that. I don't know why I didn't see it. Because this should have been everywhere. Okay, y'all. Um, this reminds me of the same thing that Puffy was doing. And I truly believe they got this idea from Puffy. And I'm going to tell y'all why I think that they got this idea from Puffy. Not just to mention the same thing that Puffy does. Okay. Um, Zoe, Zoe, whatever her name is, Zoe Kravitz. Um, her father was close to Puffy way back in the 90s. So he was partying with Puffy. So he knew about the what was going on. This stuff is going to lead down so many rabbit holes that it's not going to make no sense, y'all. Okay? Um, they are saying that it's over 50 victims right now that's coming forth on him. Not only that, they are saying that there are hundreds of tapes. Hundreds of tapes. Could y'all imagine being a, the fans right now that got to sit back and go through all these tapes? That Puffy allegedly um, put all these secret cameras all throughout his house. And people didn't even know they were being recorded, these celebrities. And he had these in each and every last one of his houses. So wherever he had a party at, for decades, he has recordings of celebrities mingling and tingling in his house. In specific rooms, in areas, in the bathroom, in the bedrooms, in the front room, in the kitchen, wherever it is that the... the it, it, it hit him at that they wanted to get down with the get down. 
this is where he had cameras everywhere. He had cameras in the closet, y'all. He wasn't playing. And he knew he had cameras in places that people were probably like, man, go in there. Ain't no, ain't no camera in there. Ain't nothing in there. You can go in this room. And they go in there and get down with the get down. And he got them on recordings. And then he blackmailed them afterwards. This is what Puffy was doing. Um, word on the street is that there are so many celebrities that um, is on these tapes. And like I told you, can you imagine being somebody that this is your job to go through all of these hundreds and hundreds of tapes and watch all these celebrities mingling and tingling with people. Some people, it was consensual. Some it wasn't. They were zooted out of their minds because they were given things. Okay. Um, this is ridiculous. And I had somebody come in my comment section and say just the dumbest, stupidest thing. Um, what's wrong? He just a little, you know, he like to do kinky things. He shouldn't have to go to prison for doing kinky things. But what about the people that he act like the women that he act like he liked that he were going to date them and brought them back to his house. And then he gave them things. And then they find out later that he got a whole recording of people taking turns on them. And what about those people? So you're saying that that's okay? That somebody give you things, something against your will, and you don't even know or, or remember the next day what was done to you? It's so many, and, and people like Boosie and all these people are coming for it, some, defending Puffy. Which makes you wonder what what you be doing at your parties. Because word on the street is Boosie throw these type of parties too. Word on the street, they call them his pool parties. So is some stuff going to start coming out about Boosie too? Because he surely is defending them, y'all. This movie right here, I'm telling y'all, is ridiculous. And they're saying now that there are hundreds of tapes of celebrities cheating on their wives, cheating on their husbands, and they were being blackmailed, y'all, by Puffy. After he get them over there and put the eye candy in front of them, whatever it is they liked, if they liked it men, he had men there. If they liked it men and women, he had women there. If he liked them young, old, whatever, 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 he had them there. This is what they're saying. And he would turn around and blackmail all these people. The industry is shook up in so many ways right now, y'all, that it don't make sense. This is what they're saying right now. That these people were secretly taped. And can you imagine Puffy call you out the blue after you done had a party with him? And you come over his house and he got this recording of you. And he be like, um, if you don't give me $50,000, uh, I'm going to release this tape. This is what he was doing to people. Word on the street, y'all. This is what he did to Nipsey. This is why this tape was going around in the hood of Nipsey doing certain things and they were saying that Nipsey liked men and this and that and, that and this when Nipsey probably was zooted out his mind and didn't even know what happened to him or what was going on. Y'all, this is ridiculous. And, and y'all remember what Nipsey said? That text message that went out that he had some powerful enemies? Y'all remember that? Um, It's all coming out now, y'all. It is. Now, let's get back to these parties in this movie. Because this was a party with him and Young Miami. And they were getting all on a boat going somewhere. And um, he pulled out a bag and started taking everybody's phones. Young Miami, she know a lot, y'all. She knows a lot. And I do believe that she's cooperating behind closed doors in the public. She is trying to act like she's standing by Diddy. But I think that she don't want the, to let the cat out of the bag in front of everybody. That she's snitching behind closed doors. I do believe that Young Miami is working with them people as well. It ain't no way that she's not. When you got recordings like this of them him throwing a party and before he throw the party, he's collecting everybody's phones. And get you remember the other day when I said... We don't know if his twins were at these parties. Well, his twins was at this party because here's his twins right here. And they are giving up their phones too. So his daughters know what he was doing too. And when they got to the party, was they giving something so they could go to sleep so they wouldn't remember what happened the next day? It's a possibility. And it's also a possibility that um, Puff is sick enough to do these type of parties with their with his kids. Look at his mama. 
him and his mama smoochy smoochy right on each other lips like they are a couple. So ain't no telling. And word on the street is he hooked up mingle tingle sessions for his sons with different women and whatever else that they probably prefer. Because don't think for one minute that I'm just saying y'all his sons ain't gonna have a little sweating skittles in their system when this is what they've been around. They, they probably think this is normal what Puffy is doing. Okay, y'all? That this is the life. So, here's his daughters putting their phone in a bag right here. Okay, y'all? At a party that Puffy threw. And before the party, everybody had to give up their phones. And he had somebody there to recording the whole thing. Thing that was going down at the party now let's get back to this movie because this movie something else this is a guy he had recording he was the only one that could be there recording or taking pictures or whatever nobody else could have a phone to take pictures he wanted to be in control of the party and y'all this is ridiculous because this movie is about the same thing y'all this movie is about the same thing and Puffy used to hang out with her father back in the 90s. And he used to go to these mingle tingle parties. So did he give her this idea to put this out there? Because word on the street is, this movie is about Puffy. This movie is about the things that Puffy does at his parties. This is what they're saying. And this is ridiculous. Y'all gotta go see this movie. You have to go and watch this movie. Um... Is this what she got the idea from? Because I truly believe she did. And this was bound to come out, y'all. This was bound to come out sooner or later. This was a bound to come out. This is Puffy at a party with her father in 1999. Females, this looked just like the movie, y'all. Blink twice movie. This is just like the movie. They got a smuggish board of just whatever it is that they like is there. And they, they, pick and, they throw a party and they pick and choose who they want to take back to the island or whatever, whatever, whatever to, you know, who get a jiggy with. Okay, y'all? This is the same thing that was going on in this movie. I kid y'all not. Here's the party. Everybody just passing around, you know, the drink it drinks. Whatever you are into. It's there for you, okay? And I guess how you act at the party and everybody decide on who they want to go, you know what I'm saying, to the the next party. Because this is just the, the first phase of the party when he invites you to this little gathering. This is the first phase. Then everybody, like a cult, sits back, sits back and decide who they want to come to the island with them or back to the house with them with the tunnels okay y'all uh this is who everybody sit back and decide oh we'll take that one and we'll pick her and we'll take him this is what this party is about y'all i don't want to give away too much okay but it's so eerily similar to puffy's life that they had to get this from her father and going to those parties with puffy and you got to ask yourself this question. Is he on some of those tapes? Because they said that these tapes go way back to the 90s. Hundreds of tapes that Puffy recorded goes way back to the 90s. And everybody is so wasted and zooted out they mad that being taped is the least things on their mind. And he keep these little trophies at his house. This is what they raided and took. Y'all, this is crazy, Okay. This movie is so eerily similar. Then they, once they pick who they want to take back to the island, you want to go back? You want to go out of town with us? We going to our island. And these little gig geek gig 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 people feel like, oh, they rich. I'm going with them. I want to party with the rich people. And they take them on a plane. And you know Puffy had his own private plane, y'all, okay? And they take them to these islands. Y'all. And when they get them there, first thing they do is take their phones. 
This is what this movie is about, y'all. Y'all, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Like, it's just a reenactment of Puffy's parties. Because it's down to a T from what everybody is explaining. And the paperwork is saying. Okay, y'all? Um, I hope I'm not giving away too many spoilers for the people who have not seen this movie. But go see it. Go see it so you can get a feel of what was going on at Puffy's parties. This is her collecting everybody's phone. Everybody's giving up their phones. And they don't care because they, they're so excited to be there with celebrities. They're so excited to be around rich people. That they're not thinking, I might have to use those phones later. Okay, y'all? Um, everybody's so happy. They thinking we about to party like 1999. Okay, y'all? But the reality starts to kick in after, you know, we having too much fun for this to be real. Okay, y'all? Um, they start giving them everything they want to eat, anything they want to drink, smuggish boards of whatever type of street pharmacy stuff they want or think they have, stuff they haven't even tried before. They get, they all just joining in, okay? Doing whatever, whatever, whatever. And once that they are out of their mind, and I think that they were giving them stuff through this food, the drinks, and everything at these parties, this party, okay? Um, which is what they're saying that Puffy is doing, okay, y'all? Um, they think they're having a the time of their life. They got clothes there for them. They got rooms already there, everything set up. And all while they're there, they're being given stuff to different things. Whatever it is that they offer them, it's something in it to get messed with their mind. So that they can't even remember what was done to them, y'all. This is the craziest movie I've ever seen. But at the same time, it was a good movie. It was different. Um, I, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe that people was this dumb. Ain't no way in the world that I could would meet a man. I don't care who it is. It could be the president. I wouldn't go off to no island with no president. To be honest with y'all. I wouldn't trust him. Or her. I wouldn't. And if girls is out here this stupid, following these guys out of town and this and that and that and this, y'all, this generation is dumb, dumb. Okay, y'all? They are dumb, dumb. Now, some people, from what we are hearing about Puffy, they was giving stuff and taking places against their will. I'm just saying, there's the rumors out about that. I'm going to say allegedly, but this is what they're saying. So, ain't no telling how this took place. We heard about what happened to Aaliyah. She didn't want to get on the plane or she, whatever, whatever. That wasn't even the plane she was supposed to get on. Somebody had sent her a plane. Not that little rinky-dinky stuff that they put her on. They gave Aaliyah something and put her on that plane. Ring a bell? Ring a bell, y'all? There's so much stuff that's about to take place and come out right now. There's so many marriages is about to be ruined right now because they're going to find out that the person that they was married to or are married to still um, was at those parties. A lot of people is getting, you know, their affairs together right now because of what may come out right now, y'all. And they're scared out their mind. This is what I'm hearing. Okay? Not only is people quitting their jobs and stuff, but people are literally packing up to ship up out of here because they're on those tapes. And like I told you, the feds is sitting back with their popcorn watching these celebrities going to town on these tapes, y'all. And after they watching these tapes, they're calling them up. We need to talk to you too. And they have to cooperate. Well, they stuff is being put on blast, y'all. Their marriages, everything, y'all. This stuff is the tea of the century, y'all. What's going on with Puffy? Okay, y'all. Um, At this party after everybody gets zooted up and they done gave them so much of stuff that everybody can't remember what's happening and going on. These people are 
being becoming victims and they don't even know it. They're waking up the next day with bruises on their faces in this movie. They're waking up and he's still laughing, talking about, look at my eye. I don't even know where it came from. They say I fell. But in all actual reality, you have been given some street pharmacy stuff and you have been taken advantage of. And the next day, you don't even know that you've been ran through the mud all night long. This is what is going on at these parties, y'all. Y'all got to watch this movie if y'all have not seen this movie. Because this movie is eerily similar to what they're saying Puffy was doing. Except one thing, well, I can't say this. This this is still the same as the movie. The movie, let, you know, as far as the people being on that island, they were there for a long time. They didn't even know what day it was. They were asking people that was on the island, what day is it? Because this is how hard that they were partying, how hard that they were giving them street pharmacy stuff. They didn't, they couldn't remember what day it was. And this is similar, eerily similar to what Cassie was saying, that Puffy's parties, Wang Dang do the parties, lasted for days, even a week or so, okay? This is why he had all of the baby oil, so that people can, you know, and they also said another thing that Puffy was doing. He was providing IVs for people that was dehydrated from all of the wang dang doodling. Okay, y'all, at his parties. All of the street pharmacy stuff that they were using. Because ain't no telling what all he was giving them that was having them, you know, dehydrated. Okay? And then all of the, you know, mingling and tingling that was going on. From this person to that person. That person taking their turns on this person while they're passed out. They would give them IVs to bring them back. Michael Jackson, right y'all? Ring a bell. And you surprised that he's tied. Now his name is popping up in Michael Jackson's case. With the security and this and that and that and this. And guess what I found out about the security. The security guard that was tied to Michael Jackson and tied to Puffy. He owns an island, y'all. That's what I heard. This is what I'm hearing. This is the information that was sent to me. Okay? Um, y'all, Shitaka is about to hit the fan in more ways than one. You all are not going to even be able to comprehend the stuff that's about to just come out. These celebrities, dirt is about to come just a busting out of the closet. And it ain't nothing they can do about it, y'all. Nothing. And Kim Porter's book is a major thing that's taking place right now. You talk about justice from the grave. Um, She's getting justice from the grave, y'all. But is she going to get justice as far as what happened to her? And is this doctor going to give up Puffy? Because I do believe that this, this doctor that was called himself seeing to Kim Porter... I think he's going to get pulled into this mess as well. It's going to be so much stuff that's about to come out. They not even, they haven't even scratched the surface yet, y'all, from what I'm understanding. And her book is releasing so much stuff, y'all. They're saying that in her book, she said that she had, you know, mingle tingle sessions with Mary J. Blige and other people in the room and joining in. Um, y'all, it's about to go down. It is about to go down. And I got my popcorn ready, y'all. That's all I can say. There are so many of his band members, people that were signed to his label that's coming forth right now and talking about it. Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. And like I said, if y'all have not seen this movie, go check this movie out. Because somebody sent it to me. And thank you to the subscriber that sent me the movie. Um... This is ridiculous. And I started, you know, sending this picture and talking about this picture with other people. And the things that I started finding out, everybody was saying that this this is his life. This is what he's doing. And this is probably why they made that movie. So the things that he was doing will come out, come to light. Only thing about it, they just changed the ending of it. But as far as what the movie is truly about it's about puffy y'all word on the street 
go check that movie out because it is explosive, y'all. And it gives you an idea of what goes on at these Diddy parties. And it gives you an idea of the victims, why they can't remember stuff. And people are saying, well, they was there because they wanted to be there. And they this and that and that and this. Just because somebody go to somebody's party doesn't mean they want to become a victim. And so many people is, y'all people are coming forth, feeling sorry for Puffy. I couldn't believe Dick, uh, um, Abusi, what he was saying. I couldn't believe it. He's going, y'all locking him up for stuff everybody do. If everybody in the industry is doing this, then everybody in the industry should be locked up if they're doing the things that Puffy is doing. This is what Boosie came out and saying. And I do believe that Boosie is about to seriously get counseled right now for even coming out saying some mess like that. From what my understanding of what is what's going on, y'all. This is ridiculous on so many levels, y'all. So many levels. Some people that became victims of Puffy, they thought he liked it them. These women thought that they were going to be dating Puffy. And they realized that, you know, it, it turned into something whole different. Okay? They ended up working in parties and didn't even know they was working. Okay, y'all? They were in a room, passed out, and people coming in there taking turns, peeking in, see if that was they type. Oh yeah, I, 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 I take that, take that. And he had the nerve to come out with a song called "Take That, Take That." Y'all, Lord have mercy. Um, boy, oh boy, oh boy. God don't play, do we, y'all? Remember, I was telling y'all about him running around here with those crosses on and stuff. God don't play. Eventually, your time going to run out, y'all. Eventually, it's going to run out. When you out here doing dirt like this, ain't no way that this is not going to come back to you. But anyway, y'all go check out that movie, Blink Twice, and get an idea of what Puffy life was about. And why he became the monster that he became. Because he got away with all of this stuff. And he made it more and more. Did y'all see the, the footage of all the baby oil all over his bathroom if y'all haven't seen it i'll put it up in the next video i, I just figured y'all probably seen it by now but there was like <sighs> hundreds of bottles in one bathroom of just baby oil everywhere and i can't y'all not i've been trying to find some baby oil everywhere and i can't find none they've been out everywhere so i don't know what is going on is there something everybody buying it up now I, I don't know I, if people is tripping. I always use baby oil anyway because I just like to. I like the feel of it when I get out of the tub. But I can't find any right now. So I don't know what is going on. And I'm not trying to be funny. This is ridiculous. Everybody is trying to buy baby oil right now. Like, really? This don't make no sense. Do I have to call the feds and tell them, can you get loan me one of them? Get, can I get one of them bottles? Y'all ain't going to miss an evidence. Can I get one of them bottles? Because there's no more in the stores. This is ridiculous. And like I said, can y'all imagine having a job, kiss your wife or your husband and your kids, and then you have to go to work and you got to watch all of these mingle tingle tapes? A lot of people probably like, oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to these people being victimized, this is sad. This is said on so many levels, but they, and they just think and imagine being married to somebody that has to go and watch this stuff and they come back to that. Oh, guess who was on this tape? Guess who was on that tape? Guess who was on this? There's so many celebrities names that's coming up right now. It is ridiculous, y'all. So many names. So um, stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned. Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. And thank you all so much for watching. Peace.